my darlings. You know one of the things I love about summer? It's almost one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm still in my pajamas. Fantastic. Granted, I've only been up for like three hours, which is another great thing about summer. So I can go to bed at like 11.30 or midnight and I can set an alarm for eight and then I can lounge around in bed for an extra hour or two. It's awesome. Uh, I'm really enjoying that. I went to the doctor yesterday. She said that I have 20-20 vision and it should continue to improve. There's still, yeah, there's still a halo around lights, but it's not as bad as it was. I just stared right into a light. I don't know why I did that. The weirdest part is at night going to bed and getting up in the morning. I'm so used to part of my bed and morning routine being to put my glasses away and pick up my glasses and put them on or take out my contacts or put in my contacts. And so it's really, it's actually a little disorientating to get up in the morning and not have to go and grab glasses or contacts. I can just see. And then same thing in the evening. I keep thinking, oh, I need to take them off or I need to go get my contacts out and I don't. So that's, that's the most disorienting, exciting part. Um, All right, so on today's adventure of Netherton World, we are looking at pre-packing. So pre, kind of pre-packing organization, pre-packing plan. I don't have a plan yet, but I do have some organ some really cool organization that I did that I would like to share with you guys. Um, and then some stuff that I bought while shopping for said organization. So still using the Marie Kondo patented method. Um, I went through all of the electronic stuff, found places for it all, which also meant that I found um, places to put all of our cables because if, as you might know, you tend to accumulate a lot of cables, especially the older you get. So I went to Michael's and uh first they had this awesome yarn on sale so i got hooked into that um normally i don't buy yarn at michael's anymore because it's all acrylic which is plastic which doesn't biodegrade but it, this is 100 percent cotton and it's hipster cotton and they have these cool colors so i got two of these and two of these um i had to show a lot of self-control to stop myself from getting like two of each of the different color palettes but anyway then I got this photo case. So this is specifically, yeah, for photo and craft keepers and I'm using it for cables. Guess where I saw this idea? Pinterest, exactly. So it lays out, you have to lay it flat to open it. But then I've got all my cable stuff together. So these are all USB-C cables. These are all Android cables. These are all boxes. Um, and then I threw in my earbud heads, like alternate heads. We've got my partner's external hard drive and cable. We've got my external hard drive and cable. Like it's all so it's all really nice and organized. And then on this side, um, I've got add-ons for my TENS unit, which is like an electronic massager, uh, the one game controller that was flat enough to actually fit in one of these. And then I went through and I did the Marie Kondo thing with my office slash school supplies. And I have a ton of pens. I like very fun color pens, like erasable pens. So I put some in a pencil box um, right here. So it's got a little bear on it. It's really cute. So that's where I have these pens. And then when they run out of ink, I'll just come in here grab some more easy peasy and then other random whatever other random school supplies including my two lanyards I went through all my lanyards I have to show you guys how many I have or had boom so I went through all of these there was really only two that still sparked joy and they were gifts so one was the chemistry one that was given to me by a student thank you so much if you're watching and then the dinosaur one was given to me by my partner for my birthday last year. So 
I still have four more empty ones that I gotta figure out what to do with. I still haven't taken the sticker off because my partner's not here to approve of the new organization system. So I'd like him to, you know, come home, say, yes, this looks good. And then as you notice, there were no extension cords in there because extension cords are way too big. What we did have was this box. I mean, we still have it obviously, but it was just all of our extra cables and electronic stuff were just kind of thrown in here and it was a huge mess. If you need anything, it was really hard to find and untangle. So this is what it looks like now. So everything's a lot more organized. Um, another one of the things I bought from Michaels were pencil cases. So like this one, I labeled Echo Dot. It's got the Echo Dot, the cord, and the box all in here. We have one Echo Dot already set up in the bedroom, but we haven't really needed a second one. So maybe when we get a bigger place, we will. Um, USB extensions, we have four of those. So I needed a bigger box to put them in. And then the HDMI cables were also too big for the photo boxes. And then of course, the extension cords are just in here. This is a dice bag that I made that is full of USB drives um, that I need to probably sort through and organize and clean up. Um, this has all the parts so that we can plug in to outlets in other countries. We got this when we went to London and then Paris. So like some of them have the two prongs like that. Um, some of them have it's two prongs like ours, but they're like slanted, right? So this allows us to be able to plug in there, but then convert it to our normal kind of plug that we have here. Um, and then game controllers that wouldn't fit. So yeah, that's how all of our cable stuff is organized. We've got our laptops stacked up in one place and I have another little basket that goes uh, right near the laptops. It's actually in our TV stand. And so it's got stuff like, you know, um, any mice that we use, um, any chargers for computer chargers, I've got a calculator, I've got speaker, um, basically anything that we would want to use quickly. So yeah. Also while shopping for this stuff, um, I went to the pet store to pick up a new carrier because we have two cats in one carrier and when we move I'm not putting both cats in one carrier I'm going to I would like to have two separate carriers this one ended up being too small so well at least for Isaac I didn't try it on the other cat I should try it on the other cat anyway honestly my partner's cat we could probably just put a harness and a leash on her and just not even put her in a crate we'll see um, and I ended up at the bookstore and I looked through and I found and got this book, The Anthropocene Review by John Green. I've been thinking about getting it for a while because I listened to his and Hank Green's podcast. Hank Green is his brother. He's also the chemistry guy on Crash Course Chemistry. So if you're a student of mine, you have seen him, you're familiar with him. All of the copies available are signed. So if you want a signed copy, just go to a bookstore and find it. Um, and then in looking for that, I also found this, a letter to my white friends and colleagues. It sounded really good. Um, I've recently had my eyes open to a lot of racial issues in the United States. And so this was kind of talking about um, personal experiences and what we can do to make everything more equitable and all that. Um, and then in Target, I got sucked into the school supply section because there's a huge school supply section right now, which, you know, I never get sucked into the school supply section and my partner never has to drag me out of it. And he also wasn't there this time to do that. So I ended up with a new planner, much smaller than normal, but I like it. And then in leaving the section, um, there was this book just sort of sort of sit in there. Someone made a choice to leave it and not take it. And so I found it and you know, my partner has kids, so they're kind of like my stepkids. And I feel like um, I lose my temper with them a lot because small children, I don't know, they seem to really elicit losing temperature. Tem temperature, <laughs> temper. Um, so yeah, so I picked up that book and that's pretty much what's been going on. I mean, besides all the vacations and stuff, oh, and the LASIK, 
So I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome summer. If you have any um, tips on pre-packing, organization, or planning, please comment below. If you have any thotes on what you'd like to see as a Netherton adventure, also comment that below, and you'll see me next time.